We've already learned that the energy exchange that happens between light and electrons occurs because of resonance, when the frequency of the light's oscillating electric field matches a change in the shape and size of the electron wave. When light transfers energy to matter, or in other terms, when absorption occurs, there is an exchange of energy that is going on over the course of many oscillations of the electric field of light. The nature of absorption is such that either the full transformation takes place over the course of about 100,000 oscillations of the electric field, leading to a total of h nu of energy being transferred, or no transformation takes place and no energy is transferred. That means that a total of h nu of energy is transferred from the light to the electron wave, or it isn't. There's nothing in the middle. There's no h nu over 2, or any other amount for that matter, transferred by light with frequency nu. This energy quantity that is exchanged, h nu, is called the photon energy. The energy of a photon of light energy with a given frequency is E photon equals H times nu. Because this quantity is discrete, a fixed amount of energy that is always transferred by light with frequency nu, it's easy to misunderstand the nature of a photon. Remember how our physicists back in the day would put things into either a particle box or a wave box? They would put that squarely in the particle box. This property of light, that it only transfers as a fixed, discrete quantity of energy, H nu, is why many people say that light has a particle-like property. Just like you can't have half a kitten, you can't have half a photon of light energy. But the problem is, we know that light is not a particle, or a kitten. Of course, we know now that things don't need to fit into one of these two categories, and that a photon is not a particle. It's a fixed amount of energy transferred by light waves oscillating with frequency nu. Infrared light with a frequency of 4 times 10 to the 13 hertz is absorbed by CO2 molecules, causing them to vibrate and heat up. How much energy is transferred to a single CO2 molecule by light with a frequency of 4 times 10 to the 13 hertz? Recall that the formula for photon energy is E is equal to H nu. The infrared light has a frequency of 4 times 10 to the 13 hertz. By plugging in this frequency and Planck's constant into the equation and canceling out our units, we end up with an answer of 3 times 10 to the negative 20 joules. This is the energy absorbed by a CO2 molecule, which will cause it to vibrate. What is true about the properties of this photon? A photon is a quantity of energy and is always the same for a light of a given frequency. This light can never transfer energy in smaller or larger amounts, only h nu. It is also important to remember that it is not an object, rather a discrete amount of light energy. Finally, one thing to note, if you have one CO2 molecule, the most energy that can be transferred from the light is h nu. But if you have a lot of CO2 molecules, each CO2 molecule can absorb h nu of light energy, and that can end up being a lot of energy, especially if the source of light is Earth and the CO2 from our cars and factories is in the atmosphere. But that's a topic for another video.